one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is kind of an update and a walk around video. I quit, and this time I quit. Um, I'm not gonna be doing what I'm doing. I, I don't want to, and I wanna fire sale, clearance sale, everything. I want all this shit gone. Um, I'll always have cars. I probably filled up with 20 more right away. However, um, I'm not gonna be doing the same thing. I'm just gonna be hopping in them and taking them to Montana and have do some stuff, do some subdividing, get on a plane and fly to Tulsa, Omaha, St. Louis, the ATL. I don't know, anywhere, but just the same where. And that's kind of what I've been thinking on stuff like that along with many other thoughts, like just buying a house in Vegas, like just buying a house in Portland. Houses are cheap there compared to San Diego. Um, I just want to do something different, make some unique content, and with the problems with the channel and with all the stuff, this will be a big update video, and it's a long rambling thing as I walk around and you see stuff in the background, but I've had a lot of things go on and everything's kind of changed, and basically what I do and what I want to do and how I want to spend my time is something that I've needed to evaluate for a long time and have put off because I've been putting a new video up every day. I, I used to say five years. I can't do the six because my other thumb's over there. A new video every day for over, over six years. That's grueling in a way that I don't know. I don't like waking up to the comments and the fucking bullshit. It's not fun. It's YouTube's a slummy comment place. But it's where I am. And so I've got to do that. I've got to do what I've got to do. Let me show you some cars because this is boring. I'm sorry. I'm giving an update. Buy Gunner's Mustang. Gunner is selling his Mustang. It's an 08 mechanic maintained nice Mustang. SL500, 98. Just got this one in. You've seen the Dodge. Get it out of here. 1350 bucks. Three row. And not only is it three row, it's 110 on it. Cold AC. Beautiful truck. We've used it a lot. Um, one of them bums that worked for me used it for over three, 4,000 miles. My good buddy Chuck. Stinking bum. Okay, so we got the SL. About 103 on it. Um, the LS is sold. Got the Magnum all-wheel drive. This is a police edition. It's got, from what I heard at the auction, it's got a crack light. It's got a um, better drive line. Uh, yeah, drive line. Drive line? Drive shaft thicker drive shaft, things like that. Um, 3.5 high output. I love this platform. It's just a nice little platform. All wheel drive and cheap. Get this before I even picture it and cheap. The SL, Adam Pish asked me about this. And then he bought another one. Then I bought a 98 and I got another one sitting in the auction. Man, I can save you money if you're looking for a car. Um, this one here, it's on, it was on eBay. Get it quick and I'll sell it cheap. Does that make a deal? Does that make sense? Get it quick and I'll sell it cheap. Full review on my channel. Full review of this E-Class on my channel, which needs to go back on eBay. Um, I'll sell it cheap before I get it on there or whatever. The Nissan, cheap, cheap, cheap. One owner, 280 SE. Beautiful car. And I am 90% sure it's a one owner. All the writing in the records right from the first start is in the same handwriting. Um, kind of hard to believe. This Mark LSC is a nice car. Okay, the 745, that's not a 745. That's what that is. How do you upgrade a different model badge to a different chassis, a whole different chassis? This thing is nice as it gets. It'll be coming up really soon. It's one of the last ones we gotta get detailed. In fact, this row here of four is not detailed. Actually five, including that SL out there, and this is six. So these and those three are pretty much the only ones here besides the limo and a couple over by the um, my office trailer that are not detailed. How I'm going to detail this one's a good question. I don't know. The Grand Prix, get it out of here. Somebody buy this thing. Somebody buy this to build. Buy, 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 buy. Then you got all the Starfire over here and the Mercedes. You've seen all this stuff. It's good stuff. It's stuff that somebody should be buying from me. But we're just not buying it. We're just sitting it. So when you get ready to buy it, let me know. Actually, I'll be getting full reviews of them. And that's when they actually sell around here. Look, I even got the books and all. That's when I end up selling them. That's when I make, take the pictures, make the reviews, and make a single video on them. Why I do the lot walk-arounds and classic car sale thing like this, I don't know. It's fun to do. 
get to talk and do some updates. The Brooklyn for sale. I've got another one in Montana. And a look at the shop. There's been three lots at least that I've moved out of that have been bigger lots that I've consolidated stuff down to to get a more fine-tuned thing. I had six, seven people working four years ago. Now I've got me and Gunner. And Samantha does the paperwork. So it's a whole different thing whereas I had six plus two in Montana. So there was eight, I guess. Plus me is nine. So that's a lot. Now it's not a lot. It's a lot less. And I want a lot less. And if you've seen in the thing, semi-retired. Yes. At this point in my life, that's what I need to be is semi-retired. Why am I busting my freaking balls 18 to 20 hours every day of my life, seven days a week, 365 a year? And for what? I don't know. What's enough? Where do you stop? Et cetera, et cetera. Let's look at the shop real quick. The shop is getting clean. Gunners helped me get this in shape. And helping, having one person that's doing this with me, and me and him are working on it, and me and him are going to look for the tools and find stuff, we know where everything is, and we're getting a good thing going for what we've got. We've even got returns sitting here. We've got a battery thing set up here. Things are getting set up, and more stuff, like having a, a rolling rack, having these freaking losers and people like... Uh, let's not name names that have been around here in the past years it's just you know you get a bunch of people that just don't want to work and they don't need to work because they, when they come down they've got somewhere to stay here or something next thing you know the people don't want to work Gunner is busting through stuff I'm busting through stuff we're getting done with everything here and getting everything running I'm gonna give you a walk around look at everything here um, and show you batteries batteries why would I show you batteries I don't know because it's getting all organized and it's looking good. It's looking good. So about this semi-retirement, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sick of running all the time. And two summers ago, I was in a relationship. One summer ago, it was just breaking apart and I knew it wasn't gonna happen. I knew I'd never make it to September. I really didn't. So all that in mind, that was a relationship for me that was young love, if you will. It was my high school girlfriend that when the chance presented itself and we were both in that position, boom. However, the boom wasn't really the boom that I thought the boom was. And nice girl, all that stuff. But last summer, um, it was clear that that wasn't going where it was going. Heck, I just got the Dodge out of here now, nine, ten months later. Um, so... Basically, that's where I am on that. That's long, long over. And, well, man, you know, you put stuff out there, and I put myself out there, I say things, and next thing you know, love is strange. Love is a strange part of life. And to actually even say love. Uh, my ex, me, love, known her my whole life since I was a teenager. Um, it's great. It's cool stuff. Well, I guess we don't work as a couple. That's just the way it goes. X's and O's and all that, you know, we all got plenty of them. Um, and it's got to be something in it. Love is strange. And the way people are loved and that you love people and feel love is a different thing. And when you feel love for someone and you feel love returned, I think it's something you latch on to. And no matter what, you chase and you make that happen. Um, that's where I am on that. Um, love at first sight and all that stuff. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that one bit. And then it happened to me. And when the girl walked into the stinking restaurant to meet me, people dropped their forks and just everybody looked and I was like, wow, she's here for me. And then she turned around seen her face in the person and yeah yeah so that's where I am in my life for the past month or so and that's what I'm going to be doing and focusing a lot of my time on um, no matter what I have to do and how I have to make that work that's what I'm going to be making work um, I'll probably put updates on the channel because as you know all of my life gets thrown on this channel so that's a la di da di da talk about that okay so Semi-retired. Yes, I've got to be semi-retired. Yes, I don't believe in love first sight, but it happened. And yes, it's where I am. And yes, 
it's what I'm going to be working on. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I know Kirill was buying, we were buying cars and doing things like that and just the way things are sold and the kind of stuff I buy is not the kind of stuff that everybody wants. Um, and selling things the way that I sell things, it takes a certain kind of thing to be sold that way. You can't go out and buy a brand new car and sell it the way I sell it because it won't work because somebody can just go buy a brand new car from a brand new car guy. I'm not brand new car guy. No, that's not who I am. I am not brand new car guy. I'm one owner car guy. One owner car guy, he kind of sells junk sometimes, you know? He sells classics and project cars and like really cool SLs that like a, a really cool 740 that like might have some problems with this and that, but you can buy it for a couple grand. And, and an SL that might just be one of the coolest SLs around and just runs great, but like it might have a little crunch in the spoiler or something. I don't buy new stuff. I buy 20 year old junk. That's my kind of junk right there. I've been driving around. That junk goes sideways. It, no, it doesn't. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never done that in my life. I just, that was um flashback or something from Nam. I don't know. But I hope everybody will continue watching, continue doing, continue being. Uh, my library on YouTube of all the old videos is what actually makes most of the revenue. Um, what makes the fun and makes me want to be here is the small amount of subscribers that I do have that are really interested in what I'm doing and the messages and stuff. Hey, Nate, I would have never like attempted to polish this car without you doing them videos. Thanks, man. Hey, Nate, I bought my first stock. That's cool stuff, man. I'm actually out there hitting the back of this yesterday. And like, I'm sitting out, I just had breakfast and um, with my lady friend. And I'm having breakfast and I'm sitting right here. She's leaned up against me and we're just sitting there enjoying the morning. And there had just been a homeless guy in the McDonald's screaming and yelling and telling everybody, ah, you guys, I'm gonna come in here and murder everybody. He was pissed and they kicked him out. And like, I can see why, but like, it definitely was a problem. But like security came and, and his name was Randy. And like, honestly, I was with my lady and she's beautiful. And I'm having a nice time talking about life and plans and a trip and like all kinds of fun stuff. And somebody, and I'm not saying anything bad, Randy, because I want, if you're out there and you see me and go, is that that idiot? Ask me, am I that idiot? And I'll say, I'm that idiot. But Randy's like, he goes, hey. And I look where I see him, and my woman kind of like stiffened up a little bit. It's like, it's like, get the security guard after us. And we were just in the McDonald's. I'm like, what? <laughs> I think he says, Nathan. And I was like, oh eh, boy, who's this? Who am I going to fight now? What did I do? You know my dad? He goes, no, I watch all your videos on uh, YouTube. Oh, cool. Now, that, that's the cool thing. When his videos on YouTube, that's cool. Like, you know, who knows why somebody's yelling at you. But he wasn't yelling. I'm not saying that. So that's the deal. That was kind of an interesting thing to run into somebody that I knew from um, YouTube and why I threw that story in there. I don't know. I'm walking around in between Hearst and all this stuff. I figured I'd throw the freaking story in there. And that was a cool story. You don't think it's a cool story? Unsubscribe. I don't care. I'm not here to please everybody. I'm here to please me and the people that I like to talk to. That's that. So, that's where I am. Um, I'm going to be doing something different. Um, I can't be here doing this 18 to 20 hours a day. And putting time into a relationship that puts time back towards me is something that I haven't had and need and want. So this is where I am. Um, I hope that everybody will keep watching and supporting and doing whatever. But this small group of subscri blah, 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 subscribers, it makes up about maybe 35% of views, which is what I basically retained after the whole shuffle out and everything. Um, hopefully it'll grow back up a bit, but and hopefully when I pop over the 100,000 mark, it'll be a little different too. Um, it's not about the money though. And just because I don't get the same amounts of money and stuff from YouTube ain't gonna be me not making videos. However, the daily videos and the multiple channel videos and doing them for other people and helping people with their channels and all this stuff, it's gotta stop, man. I can't keep doing it. I can't be that person because I don't have the time to do what I wanna do. And right now at this point in my life, 
this is what I want to do, this is what I'm going to do, and all that other shit's out of the window. It's just, just like, got it? Okay, I'll show you this part, and then we'll stop the walk around, and I'll put this video up for the morning, we'll see what happens. Chrysler. It's a entry touring. Entry. That's right. I don't know why I have to get, make a big deal out of that, but that's what it is. It's a nice Chrysler. If you want a deal on this van, you know what? Subscriber special with the SLK interior, baby. Subscriber special on this grand, whatever the heck this thing is. It's a, it's a cool van with all kinds of screens up top and rear air and you name it. This thing's got it. So what's the special on this van? Well, get this van before I put it on eBay. And I will take, drum roll please, 6350 bucks eBay before. After eBay, it's 200 bucks more. It just cost me more to put the ad up and everything. The 740 IL is a nice car. I had to walk over here for it just because I did. It's one of the last year models. It's got all the options and you need that car. I've got the extra wheel somewhere around here. Okay, the van. The limo! Automotive Buyers Club. We finally got the limo back over here after David painted it. Um, we're waiting on my Mustang now. The timing and stuff. It just is amazing. The way the timing goes here. So, here I am. Here's our limo. Looking good. Nice car. Not happy with the top. The guy's going to have to do something on the top. He just, he pulled it through and everything, and it's just not the way it's supposed to be. It's not, I don't like it, I'm not happy with it, and I want it fixed, so I'm going to have to take it back up to the schmuck. And it's not what I want to do. But it's here, it's going. David, the painter guy, has some sloppy work on his painting. Freaking painted all my trim so I'll have to sit here and scrape all this off the kind of money I paid him to do this job is not oh come on David this is not what I'm supposed to be doing on my trim on a freshly painted car <laughs> with the kind of money I paid for this this is not how this should look dude it makes me angry it makes me so freaking angry no matter what and this signifies why I'm fucking quitting a semi-retard. I can't deal with chasing people around and being like, oh, is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it done? I'm so sick and tired of that. People can't do what they need to do, follow through on what they say, and all you involved in this too. But it's just like part of what it is in business. And it's never gonna be perfect. You're always gonna have somebody screwing you over and doing a shit job. <laughs> Done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't even want to be in this kind of a business anymore unless I can just wait forever and not even give a shit. I get myself in positions where I need to get something done and people make promises. Well, it just sucks when they like blow everything apart. I've got everybody pushing me and pushing me. Let's go to the auction. Let's go to the auction. Let's go to the auction. Man, we got plenty of cars. Nobody need to be going to the auction. You try and figure out something else. My God. So. I can't be pushed and pushed and pushed anymore. I have to start doing something to where I'm able to get back to my true roots and what I really do. And what I really do is sell cool, clean, one owner cars like this, like this, like this. Old, cool junk. Or cool stuff like the limo, where it's a commercial. Commercial stuff's huge profit. People don't want it on their lot. These two are coming up. I'm at the back of the lot now. This will be the rest of the walk around, and I'm going to close this out, say goodbye, and just get back to my life. And no, I won't have daily videos. Don't subscribe for daily videos. Subscribe for bunches of videos, though, and I'm going to upload them whenever I can. You can't see the caddy because this shatters. That one's got a full review. That one's got a full review. That one's got a full review. All on my channel, all on my website, One Owner Car Guy. Full review. Full review. Full review on the vet. Marcus, get this freaking thing out of here. Get me my money. Whatever purse awesome my dad's gonna be driving it um it's for sale though whenever the fiat full review on my channel full review on the mustang is coming up nice little mustang and 
convertible GT, 80,000 miles. The SL, SC, bah, the S420 for sale, cheap. It's just sitting there all dusty. This thing will get some offers on soon here. It's all ready to go. Man, look at all these cars. This, this Taurus, get it out of here cheap. Do I want to give some prices? I gave one on that. You can have the 740 over here for um, $2,500. The Elante, I'll give you a price on, but I'm going to have to look it up. Um, great car. The Magnum, you can have the Magnum for, um, oh, take it for $3,300 before I get it going. Um, this one you can have for, oh, $2,900. This one you can have for $2,900 on the E420, $95. And this one you can have for, oh, 40, um, oh, $4,650. Um, other stuff, call me on. Um, you want the van? I told you price, don't remember it. Um, I got more stuff over here. The limo is for sale. If you're interested in it, give me a call. It's not that bad, just all the freaking trims painted. All the trims, so we're gonna have to just walk around it and. Clean it up, and clean it up, and clean it up. It's just, yuck. I'm sick, look at this, I gotta clean this up. I don't wanna clean this up. This is just not, not the kind of work that, Alexis, I just did the video on this, 113,000 on a one owner car. Nice car, beautiful car. You need this car. Can't really see the seats right now because of the timing of day, but it's a nice car. The Fiat, beautiful car, the Dodge V10, the Mercedes wagon, this only has 103, 109, 108. Just put a window regulator, 106. Okay, I was way off on everything. It's clean inside, it's a nice car, runs great. AC's cold. Um, this Fiat with the white interior, just nice as it gets. What is the point of this video besides a quick walk around? I don't know, I really just don't know. I just know that I'm not gonna be doing the same thing. I'm not going to be attacking it the way I have. I'm not going to be doing what I've been doing. I can't. I need to focus on me. And I need to focus on making my area the way my area needs to be. That's where I am. One owner car guy. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Comment, like, subscribe. Add me on Facebook. Nathan Radislaw. And Serial Marshmallows is the page. That's about all I've known. Thanks for watching. Keep me in your best wishes and prayers. All that kind of stuff. I want to make my right choices in life and I want to make different choices because I'm sick of making the same choices. It's not that the choices I've been making are truly bad or truly wrong. It's just I'm sick of the same mundane type thing where I have to do the same thing and chase people around. I'm over it. Semi-retired. We'll talk to you.